Hello guys, it's your girl Tamoy and I want to welcome you to the very first episode of my Healthy Body series. Now don't mind me here, I just washed my hair and I added this clip because I wanted to make mention of my friends over at Glitterbox JA. The oils that I'm using in my hair is from them and uh, I should say, ah, oh, okay. the oils are from them here, not by English. Anyway. <laughs> Um, the oils are from them. I got the coconut oil, a growth oil, and sunflower oil. My hair is smelling so great that I'm feeling myself. Don't mind me. So I'm done with all of the hair things right now that's out of the way and we're going to jump into what this video is about today. This video is about hygiene after sex for women. Now, a lot of women have spoken about the things you need to do, not even women alone, a lot of people have spoken about the things you need to do before sex, how to get ready for it, how to smell good, how to taste good and all of them things there, right? But, sweetheart, how about what you do afterwards? Because it's good to smell and everything, smell nice and everything for it, you know. But it is also great to smell nice afterwards too, days to come. Because if you don't do the right thing, you don't smell bad. It no get no simpler than that. And keeping with the keeping it simple, plain, Plain and simple, after sex, clean up. Clean up, my girl. Clean up the thing. Whether it be warm water or you're the type that gets sore and swollen and you need a little cooler type water, it depends on you. Wash up, clean up, hit the shower. My girl, hit the shower. Yeah. Now, if you are not in an area where there is any shower, you're not at home, you're not at the person's home, you're not in a hotel, whatever. You're not near a shower, you're on the road, you're there somewhere, you cut a piece. Now, all of my church people, my church family, my church family, and my family who's going to see this and it's TMI, log out. I am talking about sex. Yeah, if you feel like you know what watch this, nobody watch it. May I tell you from right now, no go don't leave in a things. TMI my friend, TMI. No, as I was saying, if you put a piece somewhere and there is no shower, have wipes. And not just any and any wipes, because I see people sh showcasing some wipes which, no. We are talking about your JJ right here. We are talking about your kitty cat. We are talking about the health of your vagina. My girl, some of them wipes there, don't make it. No, 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 with no fragrance, no, no, with no all this and all that, no, what if I'm natural elements. You want to get what wipes? And I'm gonna put a picture of the wipes that I like here. No, you don't have to get this brand, but water wipes, wipes that majority of the ingredients is water, those are the type of wipes that you want to get. That's the type of wipes you use down there. Wipe it away. Now, another thing. Some of us may use tissue to wipe away all that's there after the whole ordeal, right? Um, I suggest you don't use a tissue to, I suggest you don't use tissue to wipe. And I know you're gonna say, what if it's all that I have? Whether or not you are preparing to go have sex in your mind somewhere that is not near home, always walk with wipes in your bag. Because girlfriend, let me tell you something about not having wipes. You're gonna use the tissue and you're gonna wipe up. And no, then look, say wipe from front to back. And so you wipe, wipe, wipe. When you wipe, not all tissues are great. And some leave back, they leave behind little pieces. And each time you wipe, little pieces of tissues get left behind. And those after a while, you know, between peeing and this and then you probably have sex and whatever and that builds up the little piece of tissue the little dirt and little bacteria and that finds its way up there that also throw off your pH balance that also can lead down the road to other bacteria where you don't want to have nothing to do with so you want to keep that 
tissue and paper towel out of the way you don't want to use them another thing to make note of is the type of soap that you use when you are washing up the vajayjay and I suggest that after sex you use only your hands to wash up down there because you will be more delicate you will be feeling what you are doing you will be in contact with yourself and this is an intimate session you want to have the most intimate feel to touch and to feel and to take care of your girl at this time now when you use soaps use soaps that are colorless and fragrantless and not just after sex this is all times we're gonna be talking about soaps and all of that at some other time but I suggest that you use soaps that don't have no holy for fragrance soaps that don't have no coloring white soaps are good not just white soaps white soaps that don't have no whole heap of smell and unnatural elements in them use natural soaps to wash up the girl not whether irritate her and all of them something there dry her properly when when you're a dryer, no wipe her if you don't have to. Pat her dry. Just like when you're pee, I suggest you don't wipe the body like they must say front to back. I suggest that you pat her dry because this is better for her in the long run. It is safe and it's healthy. I want to also suggest another thing to you. After sex, use boric acid capsules now i'm not talking about any particular brand because i am not um, showcasing anything just know your body talk to your doctor and find out about what is good for you use boric acid capsules after sex you might not have to use it the very same day but the day after sex you can insert one because guess what it is better to prevent right than to cure because you know what yeast infection I'm all of them something they come and build up and the smell gum and the smell is there and the pH balance off and then at that time you are gonna use the capsule which it still works then but it takes a little longer and we can do without the discomfort so if the day after if you can do it the same day or night do it but the day after inserting one boric acid capsule the suppository is great for you another thing girls I know we want to hear about all the things we need to do to prevent this throughout and what I am doing and what I am not doing to prevent this before but yes we are talking about after sex right now I promise you we'll have a video where we talk about the things you do before but whole heap of videos out there before that we just want to know the things to do afterwards it's plain and simple clean up after sex wash up after sex and even if you be cut a piece somewhere where it's not home and you use the wipes and all that it's on a reach home mm -hmm. bathe right so even if you didn't use the wipes and then something upon the road when you weren't home or you weren't near water or whatever when you reach home or you reach near the water hold a shower my girl wash her up make her feel nice you know keep her safe keep her protected calm her down and another thing right another thing I know this is a before method but um my girl nobody make one tell you say don't make no man tell you about how him like dirty vagina and dirty sex. You know why? Dirty vagina and dirty sex leads to yeast infection. Dirty vagina and dirty sex leads to dirty things and dirty smells. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So even if the first time body got dirty, make sure say it clean. And I'm saying like a water wipes so I may tell you if you keep use it and wipe them off to cause you don't want to infuse any or any wipes because that is something that is going inside you as well. So we want to prevent and we want to take care of the girl down there because she's a part of us, right? She belongs to us. Treat her well, treat her nice, and she will be good to you. Now, thank you for watching this video. It's your girl Tamar here, and I want to say, have you a wonderful day. So take care of your body, my girl, until we have another healthy body episode, yeah? I will see you for my next video. Peace out. Also, remember to like, share, and subscribe if this is the type of content that you like. It is only plain and simple that you go ahead and just hit the subscribe button. You're not for pay for doing it free. And um, yeah, you will learn something from me at some point. I guarantee it.